Yo, what is up, my Shadow Armies? It is I, Shadow Critics, back again with another Bleach review video. So, yesterday I'll be reviewing the newest episode of Bleach, which is episode 19, or known as episode 385, titled The White Haze. And this will contain spoilers. If you guys do not want to be spoiled from both the anime and the manga, go. Uh, read the manga or watch the anime. Like I said, major spoilers. So basically, the episode started where Ichigo finally completed his training, and now all he has to do is jump all the way down to get back to the Soul Society. And he was informed that oh, the Quincy started attack like three hours ago, and so Ichigo just book it, and he informs Unohara about yeah, I'm on my way. Just wait. Just hold on much longer until I return. So, so basically, Ichigo is completed his training, and we see Uryu's side where him and the right hand man, a Yuhaba, he executes the two guys that Uryu, you know, brought, and they freaking decapitated both of them, and they show it on fucking screen, like blood and oil, basically, and like holy shit. And when they take out, uh, take away for the body, you see one of their head on top of their body, like, oh shit. Like, god damn. And the right hand man says something, but we couldn't understand what he said because it was muted. Because I think that's gonna bring up later on in the, um, later on in the season. Um, not only that, um, the, the white haze is basically just about. Asnod and Rukia. So basically, I didn't thought it was going to be this soon. Because we get the fight between Rukia and Asnod. And yeah, you know what that means? We actually do get to see Rukia's Bankai way fucking earlier. I thought it was going to happen in the third part, but apparently, no, it happened a lot of fucking earlier. Because part two. This is the sixth episode for the part two, if y'all think about it. And, hell, when the episode was about to end, I thought it was like, there's no way they're just going to end it like that, because that was, this is the sixth episode, but apparently, no, we're not going to just end it there, we're still going to continue on. And, because they play the, the credit music, and the music and the credit while the episode's still going, and we get to see the fight between Rukia and Asna, and get to see Asna's backstory. And um, Rukia said all these negative temperatures, degrees Celsius, and all the numbers basically zero. And she could, you know, turn down her body temperature as literally zero. And basically, she's dead. Basically, when she uses technique of hers, her new technique is to lower her body temperature. She's actually is dead from the inside, and and we do get to see Biakia save the day with Rukia, and and before she was about to be corrupted with fear. That's basically what Asnot is. He's basically the ranking of F, basically fear, and um, we found out why he doesn't seem fear because he's afraid of death. He's basically afraid of death basically that's what he's afraid of he's afraid of dying and that's what happened the ending that he's dead and Rukia used her bankai and all because uh, Byakuya said that you are now stronger you became stronger and I'm proud of you well he didn't say proud but he's basically saying that you've become stronger you became strong and that basically hits her hard and and um yeah um and um, we get to see the animation. The animation and the camera, gra uh, camera angle is so fucking good. And also seeing the animation of Rukia's Bankai in animated form is oh my god, it's so fucking good. It's clean. It's gorgeous. The the design of it is just beautiful. Even though the monk we see it in the manga and draw drawing format in the manga but in the anime it is so clean it is beautiful and it is gorgeous like oh my god and they made Asna like most terrifying villain and when he transformed to his 
well, two for him, why he's one ugly looking motherfucker for him, and two big, huge ass looking motherfucker, like ugly one, like god damn. And and Rook after the defeat of Asnod, um, Biakia said, "I like, come with me so we can save and protect the Soul Society." So now, now Biakia sees her as as equal. Now she's stronger. Now he now she's uh, equal. So they're gonna fight alongside to protect the Soul Society, and we just have to wait for Ichigo to return for you know the long drop. And, um, what else? Um, hell, me and one of my co-worker, we talked about this. Uh, we thought we might get to see Inchigo versus Uryu, the fight that never seen in the manga. I feel we might get to see that because of the opening of the anime. Because the ending of the opening, we see Inchigo and Uryu fight. So we might get to see that. I, it better fucking be, because I will be pissed if it doesn't. And, um, I don't know what else I could say about this episode. Um, oh, no, it's just, I'm glad. That, that was only one thing I'm only looking for for Rukia in the Thousand Young Blood War is her Bankai. After that, that was it. I, like I said, Rukia is not my personal favorite, but her Bankai is absolutely beautiful. I actually like her, the design of her Bankai. And, because people, People actually wonder like how the fuck Rukian doesn't use her bankai. Like that could have been so fucking useful for the other situation, but no, she never used it until now. And it was kind of disappointing and um um I now we finally get to see her actual bankai and which is a good thing. Now we don't have to we might never get to see it again because that's only one time we actually will get to see it and that's it. Cause I feel like that Bonkai is actually is useless and she only could use it once once uh once uh I can't how you say it, um per time, once per time or whatever how you fucking say it. Only once and during a battle when it comes to dangerous enemy or powerful villains or something like that or whatever. And yeah, I don't know what I can say about this episode. And we do get to see the next, the title episode for episode 20 or 385 title, I Am The Age. Well, Edge, actually, not Age, uh, Edge. That's my fault. So, yeah, that's the title, I Am The Age. Not Age. You guys know what the fuck I mean. Uh, E-D-G-E. There, I'm, I'm just gonna spell it. I'm not gonna butcher the fucking... I don't know why I say age. I don't know why. But you guys know what the fuck I meant. So, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode. I can't even think what the episode... The next episode is basically gonna be about. Focusing on the character. I don't know what. We're just have to wait and see. And hopefully... Hopefully... Because I thought we were gonna get to see Rukia's Bunkai in the part 3. But apparently not. So, we might get to see Grim Joe in this uh, part 2. And I might be wrong that the part 2 might be the final of um, the Bleach. I don't know. Maybe I might be right. We might get part 3. We just have to wait and see. But yeah, I, I got nothing else to say about this episode. I, I really enjoyed it. I was like, not expected they would do her Bankai this so damn early. Like, holy shit. And, um, yeah, like I said, I got nothing else to say, so, um, hope you guys enjoy the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, links to my other channels, my social media, we're down below, you guys know what Joe, again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, yeah, before Shadow Critias, I'll see you guys later.